Good morning, good morning, everyone. Look what I'm doing. And this is all thanks to Donald. Someone messaged me, and he's one of my Patreons, and he says, you know, you can actually make your own mushroom kiss just by taking some cardboard boxes. And so I followed his, uh, well, I'm hoping I followed his instructions <laughs> as well as I could have. But I basically took a box and I cut it into pieces, and then I put this in my pressure cooker and I cooked it for an hour. I put it on the pressure for a whole hour and then I just let it cool off by itself. I took a very clean plastic bag. Once my cardboard um, was uh, pressured, um, I took it and I put it in a bag. And then I started, once it was cool, I started to break some mycelium that I had from my pink mushroom kit and I mixed it in there. Maybe I didn't mix enough, but I hope I did. And now I'm closing it up. So I'm going to see if the mycelium has started to eat up um, eat up the cardboard. Now, uh, oyster mushrooms is a mushroom that you will find on trees. And because cardboard is paper, which come from a tree, it should be able to make mushrooms for me. So this is uh, day one. And I'm going to come back to you to show you if there's any mycelium growing in the middle of this. I'm keeping my fingers crossed and if not, we're going to start all over again. I had gloves on so this way I would not contaminate the wood at all or the mycelium that I put in there. So I'm very excited and if this works, what a great way to recycle all these boxes that we get. Not only do we not put it in the landfill or have to worry about putting it in the recycle box, we could actually make food out of it and then whatever's left of it is just going to be decomposed and it could go straight into your garden. So what a great way to uh, save the planet and make food for us. So here we go. I'm excited. So guess what guys? I'm going to see you and I'm going to show you if there's any growth whatsoever in my bag. So wish me luck. Look at this bundle by the way. Look there's coffee cups in here and these are recyclable ones so there's nothing here that's going to be bad for the mushrooms. But look how hard and look what's happening to this bundle. And this was all cardboard box. This is what's left of the cardboard box there and there and the rest. Look at that. It's all mycelium. And then I made a little filter myself out of uh, coffee filters. I poked a hole. So this way the package had enough uh, air circulation where it could actually breathe. And this is the one that I grew on my own. So when I'm ready, all I have to do is make a little slit, spray with some water, and start growing some mushrooms. Now this is a, another one that I, that I made. How many do I have here? Oh no, that's right. This is the one I bought. Sorry. This is the one I bought. This is my pink oyster. And I have a blue oyster. But if you look at it, kind of looks the same, doesn't it? This is the one I bought. This is the one I made. Uh, thanks to a very sweet man who messaged me and explained the process on how to make my own. I haven't grown any mushrooms yet, but that's going to be another video, of course. But just to show you, if you look at the one that I bought, I mean, it's only a small section because I cut it off. But if you look at the one I bought and you look at the one I made, they look identical. Now this one here, I did another bundle, but instead of using cardboard boxes, I bought these tiny wooden pellets, which I'm going to show you. Here we go. I bought these hardwood wooden pellets and all I did was I boiled some water and I poured it onto the pellets and basically a small Tupperware. I'm not sure if you can see how much there is here. It's just one of these small Tupperwares of uh, pellets, hardwood pellets. And I, um, actually this one here was less than the amount that you see here. So a whole bag of this cost like about $7. And uh, this little bundle here, I think I used half of this if not less. So one of these will actually give you a big bundle like this for mushrooms, which should give you about maybe four uh, harvests of mushrooms. But just to show you how cheap it is to actually grow your own mushrooms at home. 
and what we are growing is oyster mushrooms those are pretty much the easiest i'm playing around with portobello now i might even play around with shiitake but that is a whole complete different recipe i know that the uh, oyster mushrooms we could either do on cardboard or hardwood so how simple for seven dollars you're gonna have a bag that's gonna last you all winter if not longer if you want to grow mushrooms so this is what they look like and i said i added the hot water make sure they were nice and sterilized when they cooled off i took some of my mycelium that i have in the refrigerator and you don't need that much maybe a little section about that thick i broke it up and i mixed it with this and i started to grow more mycelium now this year i uh again because i don't have the right bags you could actually order them i made my own i just took plastic bags that i had at home and i poked a hole and i sprayed the paper with some alcohol let it dry and then i used that as a filter so the air could circulate but as soon as i'm ready which i'm going to wait a little longer because i'd like the bottom here to maybe fill up with mycelium along with this one here this is still cardboard down here so this eventually is going to start consuming the cardboard and just spreading this mycelium everywhere and then like i said we're going to do no different than like the ones that we buy we're going to cut a couple of slits spray it every day and we should be able to see beautiful mushrooms growing so how easy is that now for now I'm going to put these back because I want them to grow a little more. And when I'm ready, I'm going to start cutting the slits. And I'm going to show you how my mushrooms are going to grow on my own homemade packages. Now, since I have all this mycelium, I could actually harvest some of this, mix it with a new batch. And that mycelium is going to take over this batch. And we're going to have more mushrooms growing. So you can keep growing mushrooms over and over again now i'm doing the oyster but i want to start like i said i want to start trying other mushrooms to see how it's going to come out i'm going to show you another mushroom that i'm trying i've got little bundles growing everywhere now this one here is just applewood chips and what i did was i took a couple of mushrooms that i picked um, in the woods it was a couple of oyster mushrooms and I just broke little pieces and I threw it in between uh, the wood chips and I noticed that the mycelium is already starting around here and there's another piece of mushroom there and it looks like it's starting to go white white also over there if you see your packages are going to go green you've contaminated you got to throw that out but if you see this white stuff growing and you're going to also notice it gets hard it's almost like a growth well it is a growth so the next time you're going to see a video i'm going to be slicing into one of these and we're going to see how my mushrooms are going to grow so i'm glad you came by to watch this and i have that video for you to look at and that will show you how you're going to prepare your boxes if you're using boxes which is a great also a nice way to recycle um, if you're doing like coffee like adding coffee this is um one of those recyclable coffee lids, uh, coffee pods. So I put it in. Uh, but if it's a plastic one, you're going to have to take it out of the container because you don't want to do the plastic little bin in there. Uh, those you want to recycle. But how fun. You could actually recycle paper boxes and actually make some food out of it. So it's really, really exciting. So hope you like this little video. And if you want to see more videos like this, just leave a comment and say, Connie, I love when you try all new things because it's interesting and I want to learn. Or you could say, you know what, stick with your cooking, forget about everything else. But I'm a person that likes to try things. I like to experiment, experiment. And you know what, this is going to be free food for a long time. And I'm excited to see if I could keep this going. So how fun is this guys here's the package that I made and it took a little longer to get it to the point uh, where all the um, all the wood chips and the uh, and the cardboard box filled with mycelium but as you could tell it is completely full I'm just gonna lift this up slowly 
there's my homemade filter I made with just some paper so that it has a good exchange and that's my first cut right there and you could tell I've got oyster mushrooms growing I made another cut on this side and hopefully I shall have some mushrooms growing there so that is my first flush it's a small flush but just to show you you could actually grow mushrooms at home just by taking um, a mushroom that you bought and you let a spore on top of maybe some sterilized cardboard boxes like I showed you um, and you can grow mushrooms at home so here's my system until now I did have a plastic bag over it I'll show you and it oh, sorry about that and basically what this did was keep moisture until my mushrooms uh, bloomed and there's the fruit right there as you could tell and these are blue uh, blue oysters it's a small flush but it's exciting to know that you could actually grow mushrooms with some mushrooms that you bring home and because this is exciting since I can go mushroom hunting in the winter uh, this is a fun project I could do uh, over the winter until spring comes around and then I could go back out and pick some morels but for now this is what I have and I'm excited to share this news that it actually works now I do have more I'll show you I have sorry for the mess in here that's my kombucha there uh, here's another package that and there's my paper filter and this was just cardboard boxes and some coffee filters there's one of the coffee filters right there and look at that ready to be turned into mushrooms and here's another one that I'm doing I'm gonna show you I'm gonna pull it out they're in bags right now but these are can you see the mycelium right there these are enoki mushrooms just the base that I put on top of some uh, wood chips that I uh, wood pellets and uh, yeah the mycelium is doing nice and hopefully when this turns into a big batch of mycelium I'll be able to grow some enokis and if it does work out trust me you will see a video on this let me bring this in the kitchen so you can see it okay sorry my counter is dirty because I was doing something to it before but I'm going to show you. And what I did was. Oh, don't mind the peppers. Okay. I was working on my counter. Okay. So what I did do was I bought some wood pellets. And these wood pellets you can use in uh, stove burning. Um, stove burning or however you want to use it. Very cheap. I, use a, a, I bought a very large bag for like $6.00. And you hardly make a dent because if you take half a cup of this, of these pellets, you're going to get more than a cup once you add some water. I did sterilize them. I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to. And there is, as you can see, that's all mycelium growing there. What I did do was I put the base of my enoki mushrooms. When I cut off the mushrooms on top, I put the base right on top and it bloomed on me that means that the spores are doing its thing and then what I did was once I saw that the bloom was there I made some more wood chips by adding uh, some water and sterilizing those and when they cooled off I sprinkled it on top so now hopefully I should have some enoki mushrooms I'm keeping them in a bag not completely tied off where there's some circulation but it keeps moisture so mushrooms can grow uh, so Here's another way of doing them, hopefully. <laughs> I am going to uh, make another video to show you, or just a little small clip to show you that these uh, actually grew on me, which is exciting. And like I said, it's I'm not making a big batch of mushrooms. This is just something fun to do and something I could do over the winter while I can't go out mushroom hunting. I can watch my mushrooms grow from home and it gives me still the same as excitement as if I have gone out to mushroom hunt. As you could tell I already have some beautiful blue oysters growing and that's just by putting a little bit of mycelium in the sterilized uh, paper boxes that I cooked. You'll see 
the clip earlier and once that was ready I put the mushroom mycelium in it and then I wrapped it made sure there was some kind of filter where there's some air exchange and I got mushrooms so here's a small little maybe hobby or something fun you could do over the winter and the best part is that you end up cutting some mushrooms and throwing them in a pan and enjoying them and you can say you know what I grew these myself but yeah something fun you can try and I'm excited to see mycelium grow and I'm excited to see mushroom grow so and those are done by me not the ones that I bought good morning everyone I'm a little sad Somehow these got knocked over and my mushrooms fell off before they got to really get nice and big. But I just wanted to show you, this is two days after uh, the last clip you just saw. And uh, they're making beautiful mushrooms. <sighs> I wish you can smell them. I know I always tell you guys I wish you could smell them. But they smell fantastic and I bet they're going to taste just as good. These were supposed to get nice, as big, nice and big, the size of my hand almost uh, each one but unfortunately it got knocked off and this is that bundle that I showed you that I made it got knocked off somehow I think when my husband went to get his tomato he didn't notice I had this on the shelf and it fell but that's okay I'm gonna put this in the fridge and I'm gonna wait for another flush but just to show you guys it's really easy uh, over the winter if you can't uh, if you can't pick mushrooms because the winter has arrived, you could always try and grow your own. And I can't wait for my daughter and myself to try these. Too bad they didn't get as big as I wanted them to get. But look how beautiful. They are fresh and they are simply, simply beautiful. Free food, guys. So how fun is this? So thank you again for dropping by. And I hope you like this video. And guess what, guys? I'll see you in the next one. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.